Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is longest common prefix. So in this question, we are given an array of strings and we have to find the longest common prefix among all the strings inside the string array. And if there is no common prefix, we have to return an empty string as the output. So this is the input string array given to us. So by definition, a prefix of a string is always going to start from the first letter of every string. So in this case, FL is occurring in all the three words and that is the longest prefix. So if you go for FLO, FLO is appearing in the first string, FLO is appearing in the second string and FLO is not appearing in the third string. So it can't be considered as the longest, but FL is appearing in all the three strings. So that is the output. Now let's take a look at this question and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same input as example one and this is the input array STRS containing three words. And we have to find the common prefix among the three words. So here we can see FL is the common prefix among the three words. So our final answer is going to be a string and we are going to build the final answer from our first word. Irrespective of whatever word that may be, our final answer will come from the first string. So the length of the first string might be greater than or less than the remaining words, but our final answer will come from the first word. So there are two cases. If the first word's length is less than the other word's length and if the whole word is a common prefix among all the words, then we'll return the whole first word. And there is a second case that if the length of the first word is greater than the other words, like in this case, we are going to build a final output from the first word by taking a substring. Where the substring will start from the zeroth index until i. So we have to find i now. So this i will be pointing at a letter inside the first string. For that, we have to iterate through the first string and we have to access one character at a time. So for this, we are going to use two loops, i and j. i loop will iterate through the characters of the first string and the inner loop j will iterate through the rest of the words starting from the second word. So our j pointer will be pointing here. So let's implement these steps in a Java program and then I'll debug the code using the same example so that you get the same idea. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the string array given to us and the return type is a string which will return the longest prefix. So first I'm going to do a base check if the input array's length is zero or if the input array does not contain any we return an empty string as the output. Now using a for loop, I'm going to iterate through the letters of the first string. So if we take this example, going to iterate character by character till the end of the first string. And I'm going to access each character inside the first string and store it inside the variable ch. And using another for loop, I'm going to iterate from the next word, that is the second word inside the array until the end. So the j loop is for accessing the words after the first word and the i loop is for accessing all the characters one by one in the first word itself. So now I'm going to check if i is equal to the second word's length or if the character at the second word at i is not equal to the character in the first word. So until now, whatever characters we have gone through in the first string, that will be returned as the output. So here in this case, you can see str sub zero is the first word and prefix will start from zero until the current characters index. So we'll take the substring and return it. And outside this for loop, it means that we have accessed all the characters in the for loop and we haven't returned anything. If we haven't returned anything and we reach the last character of the first word, it means that the entire first word is going to be the common prefix. So this might happen if the first word's length is less than the other word's length, but the first word is considered as the common prefix. Now let's run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of m into n. m is the number of characters in the first string and n is the number of words present inside the input array. And the space complexity is O of 1 constant because we are not using any extra space. Now let's debug this code inside ID using the same example as example 1. So I've taken the same function I've wrote in read code. So this function is being called inside the main method and I've taken the same input array as the example one. So I've placed two breakpoints. Now let's debug the code. So this is the input array consisting of three words and i is equal to zero and i is pointing at the word flower. str is of zero is flower. So ch will access the first character inside flower that is f. So ch is f. And now we start from j equal to one to iterate through the rest of the words. So j is pointing at the word flow i is equal to 0, so strs of j is flow 
uh, length of flow is 4 and strs of j dot caret of i is also equal to f so this condition will fail and now j is equal to 2 strs of 2 is pointing at the word flight so the first character inside flight is also f as ch is also f both are same so this condition will also fail and it won't enter the if statement and now we go for the next letter now ch is having l and now we do the same for the rest of the two words we start with flow j is 1 strs of 1 is flow no they are not the same and the second letter inside flow is l which is also same as ch so this condition will fail and now j is pointing at the word flight second letter inside flight is also l so it won't go inside the if statement and now j is out of bounds now we increment i and now i is pointing at 2 the second letter is o strs of j is having flow and the second letter inside flow is 0 1 2 is o ch is also o so it won't pass now j is equal to 2 now j is pointing at the word flight and the second index letter inside flight is i which is not same as ch so this condition passes and it will enter the if statement now you see now we take the substring of the first word first word is flower it will start from 0 to i is equal to 2 so 0 1 and 2 so substring will take the values from 0 to i minus 1 so ith letter will be ignored inside a substring so 0 to 1 so fl will be printed function has been called inside the main method and longest prefix will store our answer which is having the word fl so we are printing that as the output so here you can see fl has been printed as the output and it is matching our expected output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video